Well, it's shark time again. I have another shark to unbox and have a first look at. Today, I'll be looking at the Shark Duo Clean True Pet Corded Vacuum Cleaner. Shark UK kindly sent me this in return for a written review on their website. But of course, even though I've been given this free, I will give you my honest opinion on this cleaner when I do a full demo. Now, Shark claim after some customer feedback, they've made several improvements to this model over the previous corded upright. So let's open it and have a look. Well, the first change I've noticed is Shark have now incorporated the Flexology technology in their corded stick vacuum. It was first introduced in their cordless machine but now they put it in their new corded machine so here we go we get the quick start guide and there'll be full instructions as well being the true pet version we also get the mini motorized tool for pet hair on your upholstery and your stairs and pet bedding etc here we've got a box with shark accessories so let's look what's in here So we get full size tools with this, no little wimpy crevice tools with a shark. This is a full sized crevice tool, nice to see for all your nooks and crannies. And next out is the motorized turbo nozzle, the mini one anyway. So this is the motorized pet tool, slightly different to the one I had on the previous model that folded. So they have changed the design a bit. And I think those brushes seem a little bit stiffer. I'm not sure, but um, we'll be trying that out anyway in the full demo. So this isn't an air powered nozzle. This is actually motorized. So it does have a separate motor, a separate small electric motor to power the brush. Next out of the box, we've got another nozzle. Looks like it's the dusting brush. Just need to open that. There we go, and I think this will have a swivel neck. Yes, it does. Fairly soft brushes, so you could use that on your lampshades and for general dusting. I don't think that comes off. No, that's, that's a fixed brush on this model. So that's the small tools out the way. Let's uh, have a look. Now this color, I believe, is rose gold, Shark are calling this. And as you can see, we've now got the Flexology. This also has the advantage, of course, being able to flex to clean under furniture. It also means you can stand the machine upright just by folding it over, just like you can with the cordless version. So um, yeah, that looks pretty good. There are, I think at the moment, time of making this video, there are two models in this particular range. This is the True Pet. You can also get the standard version, which I think is basically the same, but doesn't have the mini motorized nozzle. Right. Next out, I think this will be the main duo clean head. Which way does it open? Get this pull out. So the duo clean technology Shark have incorporated in many of their cleaners. They're full sized uprights and of course it's in the cordless version. So we have two rollers. Well, we have one roller and one brush and the roller is designed to pick up larger debris on hard floors and also fine dust. And the brush deals with carpets. So it's a smart, well, it's a, a mixture of matte black and gloss black finish with a little bit of the rose gold. So uh, it's a nice looking cleaner head and this looks very similar I don't think they've changed much underneath here looks very like the um, previous model so I don't think there's any changes there um, I think we can still remove things let's have a look this opens up I'm not sure if the brush roll comes out it didn't on the previous model but I'll have to check the instructions but you can remove this roller. This roller will get grubby after a few weeks use. That does come out, so you can clean that. So we'll pop that back in for now. 
but it doesn't seem at the moment that the brush roll comes out. I would have liked to have seen a removable brush roll so you could take it out for cleaning and for replacement if Sharp were to offer a replacement one. But it doesn't seem to be the case, but I will check that in the instruction book. But you still have greater access to it when you remove the uh, top. So let's make sure that goes in, there we are. And you've got uh, a brush roll light indicator. This will cut out if you suck anything into this um, machine. For example, if you're cleaning under a bed and there's a stray sock, if you suck that in, the brush roll should cut out and I believe that will indicate red and it'll turn itself off. You just have to remove the obstruction and reset the machine. But yeah, seems very similar. You've got the wand release here, which is a nice, easy to operate foot pedal. I do like that feature. So it should just be now the cleaner itself. The Shark have made some changes to the cleaner. And one change, it's a lot quieter than the previous model. But I think this comes in at the, the new EU limit of 80 decibels. I'm sure the previous one was a bit louder than that. That was one complaint I had. I found it quite noisy. So if this is quieter, that will certainly be a vast improvement. I know they've changed the filter setup on here, so we'll be having a look at that because I think the filter's located behind the bin in this machine rather than on top of it as the previous version was. Might be an idea later, in a later video, to compare the two side by side so we can see exactly what Shark have done. But Shark do listen, oh that is smart. Shark do listen to their customers and make changes. So they are a company that, you know, try to give people what they want. So if there's been complaints, they're not one of those companies that think we know best. The customers have spoken and the customers obviously important to uh, any company. If the customers aren't happy, then the company will not last for long. That's a nice finish. It's a completely different matte black and you've got the uh, Shark Flex logo just on one side. Just take this protective cover off. Now with the previous model, the top was removable and you had a flat or sort of this sort of shape sort of oval shape foam filter on top of a felt filter. So that has gone completely. We can see now that the filter's located there. So I wonder if that's going to help keep the filter cleaner for longer, because that was another concern of mine. You've still got, ah, uh, oh, and that's a different action as well. With the previous model, you had, I think it was a slide switch, but now you've got this sort of rotary switch, which is a lot easier to use and you can see there's an indicator. Let's see if we can try and hold it out of the light. Can you see how that's moving? So you have off and you have setting one, which is for your hard floors and area rugs, and setting two for thick pile and carpets. That just changes the speed of the power head. So on thick pile carpets, it goes at the faster speed, and on your hard floors and uh, lightweight rugs, it rotates slower. And again, you've got the nice rose gold trim, which makes it look very smart. I'm um, not sure if they've made it lighter. It feels about the same, but again, I'd need to compare them side by side. But yeah, I think that's uh, quite smart. It is still large compared to say a Dyson uh, V7 or V8. It is a bit large. It's fairly comfortable to hold. You've got uh, sort of a rubberized grip here. So let's have a look at this new filter system. So obviously this is the bin. And to empty the bin, we should have press to empty. So there should be a little button there, yes. So you can empty like that, but it's always easier to empty it by removing the whole dust cup. Now the very first shark rocket, and you've, I've got that, so you'll see that on my channel if you want to look at that. One of my gripes was you couldn't remove the bin and they changed that on the um, second generation. So they've kept that. And something that I did complain about on the cordless version, you couldn't remove the bin. But I can see detach dust cup. 
there so that comes away this is a lower wattage as well it's 450 watts for the motor unit just see how how much energy the power head consumes it will be under 100 watts the power head is 80 watts so again it complies with the EU regulations it's well below the maximum wattage allowable and there's a very small motor in there and it's stood this way up it's not it's not horizontal in the machine it's it's stood vertically so uh, that's that so you can take the whole bin assembly outside if you need to hold it over the bin and empty it that comes off so there's a dual mm, that's interesting as well as well as the metal mesh that you see on many sharks if we can quite see that there's a metal mesh in a screen there shark have also put that on so that might make it easier to clean because you know especially pet hair can get wrapped around this middle section especially if you don't empty it in a timely manner so you can just twist this off and that should bring most of the debris with it so that's an improvement that just pushes in and twists hang on should lock into place there we go that's it so that's a change it's quite a small capacity but most of these types of cleaners are you do have to empty them really after every use for maximum efficiency so i was mistaken i thought that this when i first saw pictures of it i thought this was a pleated filter but it's just the design of the uh, casing it looks like it is you've got some hints on cleaning the filter so sharks say clean filter once a month or loss of suction may occur so it pulls out so it's much the same as the majority of shark filters you've got a sponge which comes off it's quite effective at filtering because it, it I believe I don't know if we've um, I haven't told you the energy uh, labeling it does actually get an A for dust emissions so it gets a top score for keeping the dust in so we've got this foam filter and I've found foam filters are very easy to wash and they don't take too long to dry. If this had been pleated, pleated filters take a long, longer to dry in my experience. But being a sponge, you can rinse that under running water. You can immerse it in water, give it a shake, squeeze it, put it somewhere to dry and uh, you're ready to use it next time. And there's another filter here, which again, you can rinse that under running water. There will be a final filter which won't need looking at so often. Ah, now this is a change as well. This is probably the HEPA filter. The previous ones just had a very small bit of cloth, but this one, I can get it out. It's sealed in there. There we go. So that is a much more substantial filter than the previous version. You've got two layers, a black sponge and the pleated HEPA. So that's, that is good. And I think that might help keep the noise level down as well. It might uh, muffle the sound of the machine. It's all sealed here as well. There's a seal all, all around that. So yes, I, I can see there's some improvements because it was quite a small filter. You shouldn't have to attend to that as much, certainly not once a month. I'll be able to tell you when I check all the instructions, it could be every six months or even less than that, maybe every year. That should, should in theory, stay fairly clean, providing the primary filter is doing its job. So yes, I can certainly see some changes. So let's pop that back in. We'll uh, switch it on and see if it does sound a lot quieter. That's it, that goes in there. And of course, you will be able to give this a bit of a more thorough clean from time to time. Um, you should, I don't, don't know if sharks say you can, but I can't see any reason why you can't rinse this clean. But as long as you make sure it's 100% dry, of course. So, yeah. So let's check that goes in that way, I think. That's clicked in place. Yeah, so. 
Right, before I plug in and we'll see how noisy it is, we'll just quickly look at the energy label. You also have this, there's a swing ticket on there. Doesn't really say much. So it's an A+. Plus. So this is the very latest um, ratings from the EU. So A+, plus for energy use, using on average 19.7 kilowatt hours per annum. As I said, it gets an A for dust emission. It gets a D, which I'm not sure if that's worse than the previous model. I'm not sure if that had a C. But anyway, it gets a D for dust pickup from carpet. That doesn't take into account pet hair pickup, just dust. It gets a C for dust pickup from a hard floor. And yes, it's just at the maximum allowable 80 decibels. I've just checked the instruction book and all the filters are washable with water only, including the post motor filter here. It doesn't give any guidelines on how often to clean that. It just says once a month for these filters. But as I said, you shouldn't have to clean the post motor filter very often at all. But it's always a good idea from time to time just have a look at it and if it looks dirty give it a rinse so let's see how noisy this cleaner is certainly just in suction mode first that is certainly quieter it'd be interesting actually I, I will do a comparison between this and the previous model but it's certainly to my memory sounds a lot lot quieter so that's going to be more pleasant to use now it is corded of course which has advantages and disadvantages you don't get the freedom of being a cordless machine but this is a 10 meter cord so it's pretty long you should be able to clean a large area before you have to find another socket but of course the benefits of a corded machine you're never going to lose power like with a battery operated machine if the battery runs down halfway um, in your cleaning then you've got to obviously wait three or four hours for it to charge up no problems with a corded machine which is why corded machines they're still despite Dyson's latest v10 corded machines will outperform even the best cordless and I will stake my reputation on that if I ever get a Dyson v10 even on its max mode I'm sure many cleaners will beat it many corded cleaners it's probably very good as a cordless but uh, we'll, we shall have to see if Dyson's decision to phase out corded vacuums is a mistake or not but I'm sure they'll soon change their mind if it is let's pop in this uh, very smart rose gold extension wand clicks clicks firm into position and then of course we can fit the main unit just by pushing it until it clicks so yeah it's a smart looking vacuum cleaner with the flexology wand now incorporated in the corded models it is easier to store the machine just by folding it in half like that and there is space on here to store the cord you've got fixed lower hook at the bottom and there's a swivel hook at the top so that's easier than having to take it off the wand and hook it over the hook at the bottom as you did with previous versions and of course the flexology works the other way so as you're cleaning if you want to reach under low furniture you simply press the button here at the back and flex the wand in half which enables you to clean under furniture without having to bend down and then of course it just locks back into position when you're ready to clean the carpets okay let's start it off we'll put it into the uh, carpet setting I'm surprised but I think I think the power nozzle is quieter as well it doesn't make very much noise at all it's a lot more pleasant sounding than the previous version so that is a, a big thumbs up for me a great improvement to have the lower noise level as well as cleaning carpets and hard floors you can of course use the shark duo clean for your above floor cleaning to release the wand you just press down with your foot and the wand comes off you can actually put any nozzle you want onto the end so if you want to clean up high you could put the crevice nozzle to get your cobwebs or you can fit any of the nozzles in fact i think you can possibly fit excuse me leaning over 
you might be able to fit, we'll check, yes, you can even fit the mini motorised nozzle onto the end of the wand. So in handheld mode, of course, you can fit any of the nozzles directly to the machine, including the dusting brush and, of course, the mini motorised tool. So that's ideal. You can use that inside your car for your car mats and car seats. Let's uh, listen to that, actually, see how noisy the mini motorised pet tool is. Again, that seems pretty quiet, so that's good. You can, if you want to, for doing your stairs, you can even fit the larger tool directly on, like that. If you notice the LED headlights, the brushes won't rotate when the machine's in the upright position, but as soon as you recline, the brushes will start to rotate. Of course, we've got the two speeds, so it's a lower um, speed for your hard floors. So in setting one, you go, it runs at a slower speed. And then setting two, it'll ramp up to the full speed. I've put some cereal on my kitchen floor, some rolled oats and some hooped shaped cereal just to see how well the shark copes. And I'm going to use setting one, which is the suggested setting for the hard floors and area rugs. Pretty impressive, no snow plowing. It's picked up more or less everything. So yeah, it's a thumbs up for the hard floor so I'll just pick up the rest of this and I'll do a little bit of a demo on the carpet. just put down some general dirt on this short pile carpet it's just a mixture of dust fluff dog hair and a few bits of paper so we'll pass the machine forward and back through the middle and this time we'll use it on setting two pretty good there's a little bit, tiny bit there, but for two passes, that's not bad at all, I think. Out of memory, that's a slight improvement on the previous model. Well, I can certainly see and hear the improvements Shark have made to this corded Duo Clean vacuum cleaner. It's certainly a lot easier on the ear than the previous model. I also like the changes they've made to the filter system. Hopefully the filters will stay a little bit cleaner for longer. And even the small change of the switch on the back, that's a lot easier to use than the previous version. All in all, they've made some good improvements to this cleaner. I'll be doing a full demo very soon on my channel. If you have any questions about this machine, please ask in the comments section below. You can currently buy this machine direct from Shark or other retailers including very.co.uk and often you'll see easy payment options and special offers on Shark Cleaners, so visit their website for the latest deals and pricing. This cleaner comes with a five-year guarantee, but remember to register it with Shark within 28 days of purchase.
If you have any questions about this particular vacuum cleaner, please comment below and look out for the full demonstration coming up very soon. Bye for now.